Are you a student? Well, I'm a student, and ever since I started using this Notion template, my life has really done a 360. I've felt absolutely amazing, so productive, and just been organized and on top of everything. And I wanted to share this amazing feeling with you all on my YouTube channel. And so without further ado, let's get into it. No intro, nothing. So in Google Chrome, I'm going to give you a link in this YouTube video in the description below. Click on that link. It's going to take you to this access page in which you're going to put your email in. And after that, you're going to get access to this Notion template. So this Notion template, again, in the description box below. And in the top right corner, you're going to press this duplicate button. After that, log in, put in your Notion details, and voila. The Notion template's gonna appear in your library or in your Notion app or whatever. And so as you can see, I have it open in my Notion app and we're ready to get customizing. We're getting, we're ready to get it set up and to get going. And so I'm gonna show you all the cool features and all the little tidbits that you need to customize to truly make this template yours and for you to consistently use it. Because at the end of the day, when I started first using Notion two years ago, I started with a template and then after a week or two, I started to kind of drift off and if you guys have tried out this stuff before it's not easy to just get going and maintain and so that's why I've really streamlined this template to make it as easy as possible for you while still keeping aesthetics and so let's go ahead the first thing we're gonna jump into is the looks and the visuals of it all and so on the cover page here I just put this default thing for you to subscribe so Please subscribe to my channel, really appreciate it, but change this cover. And so I want you to put a beautiful image that when you see it, you just feel like working. And so for some people that might be a piano, for other people that's gonna be nature, for other people it's gonna be artwork. Um, personally for me, I have literally just looked at these templates here in the Notion screen that Notion has like built into their software. And a lot of these are frankly amazing. And so I'm gonna choose um, this one over here. I really like this piece of art with the flowers. It just makes me feel kind of ready to go. And then over here, I've already kind of customized this icon, but I'd recommend choosing anything that just kind of resonates with you. And so that could be like a scroll or maybe a computer, or for me, it's flowers. I think it's just kind of a little bit beautiful and relaxing. And so next, I want you to customize this name, put your name, Bob's dashboard for school. Actually, I'm gonna change that back. I don't like that way that it looks. Bob, horrible name. Risha, better name. And so Rishab's dashboard for school. How we're gonna get started with this is we have the street counter over here and today's to-dos. And so I want you to fill this up with your to-dos for today. If it's the evening right now, fill it up with to-dos for tomorrow because that way you'll actually start using the template and tomorrow you're not gonna get back and be like, I'm too lazy to fill this in. While you're feeling motivated right now, fill these checks check boxes in and so put your to-dos for tomorrow. So for tomorrow, I only need to do like this camp lab thing um, and so I also need to um, check in with my teacher to fill in this permissions uh, thing. So these should be for general to-dos that are not necessarily like homework assignments or review type thing where you need to go over lectures and notes and whatnot because that's where we're gonna be uh, filling all that into Notion's databases which is really cool. So that's just to-dos and so tomorrow you can go ahead and get started using that if it's the evening or just put it to to-dos if you're watching this earlier today. And next I want you to add daily ha habits every day you're going to check these off as you do them and then in the mornings you're gonna uncheck them and so for me I have just two daily habits that I wanted to start working on which is meditating for five minutes every day and then going to the gym every night and so I'd recommend starting with just one or two habits because habits are really um, in, in, a t in a titular book atomic habits they're really uh, atomic atomic habits that every day there's just minor minor improvements like an atomic clock that's ticking and so start out with one or two habits and slowly work your way up. And then over here I have my daily journal. Journaling is something that's been proven by so many studies to be so positive for you. And so I created this journal little thing here with the date. And so um, it's gonna automatically say log and then this hashtag. And then I want you to put today's date. So for me it was like November 14th. And then over here you can put in images, you can bold words, and you can express whatever you're feeling every night when you want to log that. And so that's a daily journal. You don't have to use it, but I'd recommend it. It is, it's definitely a positive influence. Okay, so now we're done with this random customization stuff and we're ready for the cool bits of Notion, which is all that technical goodness with the databases. And the good part is that this is a simple template and so you don't have to set up coins and levels and whatnot for this template yet. You just need to get started with using Notion and this is great for students who are looking to get on track like I was and start actually following something on a database instead of jumping around from template to template. So to start with this, trust me, if, if 100 days from now you feel like, okay, I'm really run through this template, choose another one, come back to my channel. But anyway, let's get on with this part of it. So the calendar here, let's say I have a chemistry lab 
lab due tomorrow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in lab number two, and then I have my course. So here you can select a course and you can create a new one. And so I'm gonna create a new one called Chem. And so I'm gonna press new Chem and click on this page and then you can specify your professor, you can specify their email, their website and course codes. I want you to do all of that because once you get these details in, it'll make it that much easier to stick to actually using this template long term. And then add an icon as well. So in chemistry, I have this little beaker that I like to use. And so there we go. Now we have this lab too, assigned to chem. And so last review is if this is kind of like preparing for a test that you need to prepare. And so you can specify when you last reviewed this, but this is more of an assignment that I need to turn in. And so as you can see, there's this mastery thing. This is again for sort of more reviewy type things like material that you're reviewing so you can gauge your mastery on something. But for assignments, we're gonna use these three down here, which is assignment, progress, and date. So we're gonna select, yes, this is an assignment that we need to actually turn in. And then I'm gonna select my progress. I'm like halfway done with this lab and it's due tomorrow. So it looks like I need to work on that tonight a little bit more. Um, and so then you can specify the date that it's due. And just like that, you created your first assignment. Now this looks pretty nice. Like you have this, it gives your class the name of the assignment and tells you what it is straight off the bat. Here I have another example one I created for a computer science principles course uh, to do this assignment. But now here's where the cool part comes in and something that I've always wanted, but I didn't know you could just do it in Notion so easily. And that's these tabs over here. So as you can see, there's this assignments tab. Um, and this tab right here contains all of your assignments, the dates that they're due on, the due date, for instance, like tomorrow in X number of days and the progress that you've done towards them. So whether you're not started, you're done, you're pending and whatnot. And you can even create more filters here. Like you can create something close to done. In fact, on my actual template, this one I created blank, it has, I added a specific one called close to done because I have a bunch of assignments where they're just close to done. And so it allows for so much customization here. And then you can even just, you know, sort by the due date, like when things are due. Um, so then I know, okay, I have to work on this tomorrow. And so this assignment view versus the calendar view is, has been like literally a lifesaver for me. And then finally, there's the review tab. So I'm going to demonstrate how you can review for work. Um, something that's been proven by site psychology and a lot of science is spaced repetition. And so spaced repetition is basically this idea that we're more likely to memorize things and store them in our long-term memories if we review them over time. Of course, it's easy to say, hey, I'm going to start reviewing for my chemistry test tomorrow by studying at 12 a.m. And I know it's the easy thing to do, but spaced repetition helps you learn that material longer. And so in higher education, when we need to memorize things for the entire semester, if you're a high school student like me, um, we need to start developing those skills now. And so spaced repetition is really helpful and this notion template will help you establish that as it's worked for me as well. And so. As you can see, let's say I want to start reviewing for a test I have next Monday. And so I can put my progress towards this test. Let's say it's a stats test because I haven't created that course yet. And so this course, I'm going to select, ooh, there's not a math one. So I'm going to create a math page just like that. Um, and I'm going to put my professor and whatnot and customize this icon, make it as beautiful as I want to. That's a quick way of doing it. And so um, let's say I reviewed it tonight or like just now. And my mastery towards this is in progress. It's not close to done or done yet for the test, but I'm in progress. I'm working towards it. And so um, that's how we have it here. It's, it's like a pending assignment. And then the date for our test is later on November 21st. And so now we have this stats test created for math. And now what the space repetition technique allows you to do is when you go to this review tab, you can see you have your stats test that's in progress and you last reviewed it on November 14th. And so what I want you to do is populate notes about your stats test as you go through it in this notes section. Physically taking the action to type in what you did for your stats test every day, like let's say you're reviewing it every two or three days, come back to this notes section and write down what you reviewed. Like I reviewed AP Classroom Daily Video 1.1 through 1.4, or I reviewed Organic Chemistry Tutors video on YouTube. Write that in your notes because that will help you on the test visualize that and link it back to that space repetition that you did over time. And then the last review, the uh, column, this helps you determine when you last reviewed it. And so you can understand that, hey, I should be reviewing things on a weekly basis or on a daily basis or whatnot, so that I can remember this material for a longer period of time. And so that's the calendar assignments review and all of this. The very last thing that I need to cover here is the streak counter. And so this 
is actually one of the most motivating things about this template. You've all heard of that like dopamine rush that you can get from crossing things off. And so I found that, you know, with these to do's, it's really satisfying at the end of the day to just see, okay, I did everything. I'm a legend. I completed everything, whatever. But in your street counter, it's such a dopamine rush every day to hit the streak button because this isn't something that you just do as you do the task. It's every day as you come back to this template, I want you to press the plus on the streak and get that dopamine rush in your head. And so you can again get this template down in the description below. Subscribe to my channel for more Notion tips and watch the video on the screen for how to use notes in Notion and to take more productive notes using science and empirical studies to improve memorization and to improve your test scores by up to 17 percent. I've broken it down, analyzed some studies, and so I'm going to teach you how to use notes in Notion. Watch the video right now. See you.